In this video, we will change the PEM key for an Amazon EC2 instance. Slide the scroll bar, you will see the key file. This is the key name. The file name is server OK. I have this file on my computer. We are not going to reset the PEM. We are changing the PEM file. Let's say if you share the PEM file with someone else and you want to revoke access to them, what you need to do is change the PEM file. First, let us log into the server. For that, click the server instance ID. Copy the IP address of the server. You can see the IP address here, public IPv4 address. Copy it. Take a terminal. The command is ssh-i. You need to specify location of the key file. In my case, it is in the downloads folder. Downloads slash name of the PEM file server ok dot PEM. After that, you have to enter the username. This is an Ubuntu EC2 instance. So enter the username Ubuntu at the rate IP address of the server. If you are connecting for the first time, it will ask for key fingerprint verification. Type yes and press enter. We have an error related to permission of the key file. It says the permission is too open. To fix that, use the command chmod 600 then path to the PEM file downloads slash server ok dot PEM. Now we will be able to log into the EC2 instance ssh minus i downloads slash key file name server ok dot PEM Ubuntu at the rate IP address we are now logged into EC2 instance using the current private key file. Let's create a new key file. For that, take a terminal. Create a folder, mkdr, my ssh key. Go inside this folder, cd, my ssh key. To create an ssh key, the command is ssh keygen minus b you can specify size of the key 1946 minus f name of the key file my new key you can specify any name press enter it will ask for a key phrase that is a password for this private key if you want extra security you can add a password here I am not going to use a password, so press enter, enter again. Now the key file is created. To see the key files, use the command ls-l. SSH keygen have created two files. First one is the private key. Second one is the public key. What we need to do is copy the content of this file to see the content use the command cat space then file name this is our new public key we need to copy this to the amazon ec2 instance go back to the ec2 instance in the ec2 instance you need to edit authorized keys file that is present inside dot ssh folder type ls minus la to see the files in the directory go inside this dot ssh folder using command cd.ssh to see the files use command ls-la again we have authorized keys to see the content use the command cat file name this is the public key of our default key file we will edit this file and add our new public key to edit use the command va authorized keys to add a new line Press Shift plus O. Copy the content of our new public key. Copy it. And you need to paste it here. Next, you need to save this file. To save a file in Vim, press Escape. Then type colon. After that, W. W is for write. 
next quit the editor for that escape again colon q for quit at this point we will be able to log into the server using the current pm file and the new key we created let's go to the folder where we created the key file using ssh keygen this is our private key we will rename the file with the pem extension mv space my new key space my new key dot pem let's verify if we can connect to the amazon ec2 instance using the new key file use the command ssh minus i specify the location of the key file the key file is in our current directory so we don't have to enter any directory name my new key dot pem paste it here then username ubuntu at the rate ip address copy the ip address paste it we are logged in using our new key file at this stage we can remove older pm file go back to the other terminal let's disconnect the ssh session with the command exit exit press enter now we are disconnected let's try connect using the old pm file see if it is still working it is still working to remove this old key edit the file vi dot ssh authorized keys press enter now this is our new public key and this is the default public key we need to delete this entry to delete the line use the command dd it deleted the old public key now save the file escape colon w exit the editor escape colon q now let's disconnect from the server and see if we can reconnect we are not able to connect to the ec2 instance using the default key because we removed the default public key from the dot ssh slash authorized file on the other terminal we are still connected to the ec2 instance before disconnecting we need to confirm the new ssh key is working properly for that go to the my ssh key folder and try connecting to the server using the new pm file ssh minus i specify the name of the key file our private key is my new key dot pm after that enter the username ubuntu at the rate ip address of the server copy it from the above we are able to log into the amazon ec2 instance using our newly created pem file now if you look at the authorized keys file you will only see one public key cat dot ssh authorized keys there is only one entry that is our new public key that is how you change pm file on an amazon ec2 instance thank you for watching hope you find the video useful if you like the video please subscribe for more videos like this